Action Sideshows has police working to try and put the brakes on the Ill illegal activity. Officers are monitoring chatter on social media, hoping to get in front of those drivers and preparing officers to respond. KTV's Christian Captain is at police headquarters tonight to lay out what police are, are now doing to keep the streets safe. Yeah, police say that they're working hard to try to stay one step ahead of those sideshow organizers, and they say that a lot of the police work is done quietly long after those sideshows are over. Neighbors caught video of this sideshow on San Francisco's Embarcadero last Friday. Witnesses wondered why the police couldn't stop the show, which they say went on for about a half an hour. And since I was watching, I saw on the side streets there are some two cop police cars, SFPD cars. For some reason, they couldn't get in. San Francisco police say that's something they hear frequently. So a lot of times I know the public has a little bit of angst on when they don't see that we're responding fast enough. But the reason for that is a plan of action is being taken. Police say it's simply too dangerous for responding officers, sideshow drivers, observers and bystanders to simply rush in and start making arrests. They say a better plan is to herd drivers on a particular path and keep track of specific vehicles, share that information with neighboring agencies and stop and impound those vehicles when it's safer to do so. Last weekend, San Francisco police were able to identify at least one specific car from the Embarcadero. They allowed it to leave the area safely, only to impound it just hours later. The officers got the information from that car, relayed that information. That car took its um, participated on the Bay Bridge. Oakland PD had that information, and when those cars went, they picked off that car. Police also say multiple sideshows tend to pop up in rapid succession. So San Francisco Police Department says it positions officers to make sure some of those sideshows stop before they even start. What people don't know is in that same night, there were two or three other areas that those groups of vehicles went to where officers had already arrived knowing the regular hot spots, as we like to call them, and they were flushed out. They never had a chance to start after that. San Francisco police emphasize that sideshows are a regional problem with cars coming in from as far away as Stockton and Modesto. They say they work collaboratively with other departments to identify vehicles and impound them from wherever they're found. Those vehicles then spend a minimum of 30 days in impound with $3,000 minimum in impound fees. And if investigators can put a particular driver behind the wheel, of course, that driver could face criminal charges. We're live in San Francisco. Christian Kafton, KTVU, Fox 2 News. All right, Christian, thank you.